So tonight is a little bit different um, than what we normally do. I've been showing you sets and I've been showing you the makes and we've done a little bit of crafting along the way. Today we're going to do a little bit different. I'm actually going to walk you through the catalogue. Okay, which sounds a bit weird. It's a catalogue, you just flick. But this is more than a catalogue, I promise you. Okay, it's full of ideas, it's full of techniques. Um, you name it, it's in there. So I'm just going to do that. I'm very aware that I can talk for England, so I will try and keep it half an hour. Um, we've also got to give out the prize for the Scrabble. So I'll do that at the end as well. Um, and anything else that I need to tell you, I hopefully will remember by the end. So let's go for it. Okay, so new catalogue. Lovely shiny new cover. I've actually picked up a new one because my one is so well thumbed that the front cover's practically off of it. So this is how it works. I'm just going to move my phone. Okay, so new catalogue, front cover, inspire, create, share. They're the Scrabble words that we used today. How many words did you make? Some of you, hundreds. Okay, so if you received a catalogue from me, a few bits you would have got inside and in colour. Um, the new colours for this uh, year that Stampin' Up! do, just to give you a, a bit in your hands of the new colours. You will probably all know by now that Misty Moonlight is perhaps my favourite of the whole lot. You would have had a created the Ottaway Crafty Friend letter, just telling you a bit about me and asking if you needed any help and to post ideas in our group. It's a really nice group, everyone supports each other and the more you post, the more we inspire each other. You would have had a wish list. I've got my wish list here and my pen. Um, every time I look through the catalogue, I see something else I like. There's a handy little bit at the side that I did for you that tells you where things are, if you want particularly to look for something. Some people with their catalogues do tabs on them. It's up to you, but that's just a quick way. It's also got ways to order, ways to earn free product, um, bits and pieces like that. So that's quite handy to have. And also it is quite distracting. You go through, you decided what you wanted and then Claire goes and shows you an, a new way of using Sank and your list changes. So it's good to have your first thoughts of what you like on there. The other bit you might have got in there is signing up to the Stamp Kit Club. I promise I will email you details of that tomorrow. It's just been a long week work-wise. So let's get on with the catalogue. Front cover, yeah, it's all right. I'm not overly struck with the front cover. It's not bright enough, really, when you see what's inside. So let's go to the first page. So inside the first page, straight away, you're hit by colour, OK? Try not to get the reflection from my light. So there's, on this side, if I move that over there, you've got tools. It tells you the pages they're on, pick a punch, paper trimmer, all sorts of things. You'll barely glance at that. This page gives you a bit more insight to what's inside. It's got different categories, all occasion things. Love, thanks and support, kids and babies, birthday, artistic expression, accessories and more. So if you want to look up something really quick for a birthday, you would go to that page straight there but at this stage this is our first look so let's look through the rest now the other thing that maybe you may or may not notice is right down the bottom it's got these two symbols one is the 10 percent off so if you see that by a bundle a bundle can be a stamp and a die set or a stamp and a punch that goes with it if you see that sign you get 10 percent off if you purchase them together so that's quite handy when you're trying to budget there's also this new stamp set new product little red star um, some of the products carry over every year and some are new okay let's turn the page 
the next page. Honestly, I'm not going to do this page by page. I'll, I will speed up. This is Welcome to Stampin' Up. That's the co-founder and chair of Stampin' Up. And every year, it's quite nice. If you've got Stampin' Up catalogues, you can go back and it's their memories and more. But it's their family growing up and it's, it's quite a nice little thing. It's a family-run business and that really shows in how they look after us demonstrators. They also have something called Statement of the Heart. To love what we do and share what we love. Well, that definitely fits me. As we help others enjoy creativity and worthwhile accomplishments. I love sharing creativity and seeing people's faces when they make something that they're amazed they made. And in this, we make a difference. So the statement of heart actually really means a lot to me as well. So I'm glad that they use it as their company statement of the heart. Right, and then we get to the next page, which is the interesting page, because I think it's really tempting to whiz past this page, but actually there's a lot of information there. So at the top, stamps. Okay, the two types of stamps that Stampin' Up! now do, cling, which are these ones that look like red rubber and they stick to your blocks, and polymer, which are completely see-through and they also stick to the blocks. Okay, so that gives you a good idea. And when you're ordering a stamp set, it will say at the bottom whether it's a cling or it's a polymer. Some people only like polymer, some people don't mind. It just gives you a little bit extra so you know what you're buying. Right, this is a new bit, which is really good. If you're stuck for an idea, a technique, or you want to, you've seen a card in the catalogue and you're not sure how they've done it, this here actually gives you six different techniques and they tell you how in the catalogue. So two steps stamping, what's that you might say? Markering, what's that? Stamping off, what's that? Pattern building, masking, heat embossing. So let's pick one, shall? Masking, okay? Page 72, so if I just quickly turn to page 72, okay? Now, it said to me that on page 72, I could learn how to do masking. And there it is, make a mask. It shows you in pictures, but it also shows you in words exactly how to do that technique. Isn't that good? I really love that in the catalogue. So, shall we check another one? So, this one says heat embossing, page 48. Okay, page 48. Hmm, heat embossing, where's that? There, make it pop with heat embossing. So it's got a couple of pictures and then it's got some text to tell you how to do that. I really like that. I just think that's worth noting because like I say, you will just rush past it and then there's nothing in there. Okay, next page. Here's where it gets really bright and colourful. Coordination. Now you've heard me bang on about how great Stampin' Up! is for coordination. This just absolutely shows it off. It's such a beautiful page. You've got lots of different flowers made with lots of different colours. But what happens with Stampin' Up! So if you've got, um, what ink could we say? If you've got a misty moonlight blue ink and you get misty moonlight blue card, it exactly matches. But not only that, they also do Misty Moonlight Ribbon. The embellishments will be in the same colour. So I know for me, when I first do it, did started crafting with cards, I would just go and buy whatever I liked, really. And then I would spend more time than anything else trying to match up different colours. Well, now that's really helped my cards because using Stampin' Up's coordination, I don't have to think about whether the colours match. I automatically know that they will. Okay, so we'll talk about that some more in a moment. All right, next one. What's coming next? Page six, the kits. Now, for times like these, we won't mention what, kits are perfect. You're stuck, you don't know what to do, you don't know where to start crafting. Grab yourself a kit. They're perfect for giving as presents, perfect for giving when you're trying to entice a friend to craft. 
or gather a few friends together, just open a kit, have a cup of tea, piece of cake. You can all have a fun afternoon sitting around making a card without too much stress. Things like this, they've got the card backs, they've got the stamp set in it, it's got the embellishments, it's got a little bits of ribbon, it's all there together. So there's a couple of different kits. There's Simply Citrus, looking up, gorgeous rose. Can you see that? That is just pure gorgeous. I mean, they couldn't have given it a better name. Gorgeous posies even. Be all right if I got it right. Boho Indico, this is my favorite. I love blues. My kitchen is blue and white. I've got blue and white china. I feel like I'm just gonna buy this set not actually make it, just have the squares of paper in frames all over the kitchen. It's so beautiful. Really, really love that set. And that one even comes with ribbon and dies. <coughs> okay, then the next page, we come on to something that they've started doing, which is called a suite. So there's a set and then all the accessories with it, and they list them there. But not only that, they give you a whole page of ideas. So remember when I was doing this set yesterday, I said I've cased a couple of cards from the catalogue. In fact, that was one I cased. So when you're struggling for ideas, you've, you've got this stamp set. You don't know where to start. It just seems all too stressful. Just flick through the catalogue. Think, oh, actually, I really like that card. And then replicate it. Same with this one on this side. This is the one that we made together, okay? I just used a white card base and cut the blue to layer. So, what else do I need to tell you about this page? So you've got all the DSP along the bottom. I'm not sure if you can see that. But the other good thing that it does, that the DSP is here, but any colors that are in the DSP it shows you in these little circles. So if you'd bought this pack of paper and you wanted a stamp set that matches it exactly, pick one of those colours. It doesn't have to be all of them, just start with one. Pick a colour like Misty Moonlight. I know, I know, I keep going on about it. But Misty Moonlight, you could use on all the sentiments, um, on any colours. It's quite nice to have a navy or a blue ink rather than a black on your sentiments and even a brown actually brown ink can look really nice as well okay let's have a quick flick through what else do i need to tell you now i'm not literally not going to go page by page i've picked a few bits and pieces out but i'm just going to check the comments has anybody got any questions they want to ask before i move on Can you just give me a like or a love so I know whether you like it or you love it? Okay, there's the sunflower that we use. There's the jars. I'm going to whiz past them. Like I said, I'm not going to go to every page. Let's see if I can find a few things I like. Oh, the sandcastle I haven't told you about. So the other thing, remember I said about techniques like the embossing here that's hidden within the pages. There's also pictures like this. I mean, this is why I love stamping up and I love this catalogue. Literally, it's my bedtime reading, my Friday night, cup of tea, bar of chocolate. Let's look at the cards. So here... They've got a picture about stamping, uh, step it up. So I'll just move that down so you can see it. So what they do is they start off with one card and that one is just stamped, just straight onto the card. They've stamped, I don't know if you can see, they've stamped the background and then they've stamped on a white card. They have done a little sentiment, but that's just your basic card. Then to step it up the next step, they've done exactly the same card but they've put a double sentiment and here they've actually stamped some flowers, punched them out and layered them on the top. So I don't know if you can see, but it's almost like a 3D effect. And they've put a layer of designer paper behind the white 
and that just makes those two cards look totally different but the same and then with this version so they've done the same stamp again but they've used the stamping blends to lift some of the color off so you can see the light shining they've put two types of flower on they've die cut a sentiment across there instead of just stamping and they've layered slightly different on the background and then the final thing that they've done is they've done a bit of a color wash around the image so it's gone from being a plain image like this to an image like that so that's like your three steps so you start off like this practice and like that one give it a go to step it up a bit and then go to this one i mean when you you're doing a card to start with you perhaps like this one but you need to do these steps first so maybe start off with this card you're feeling good you've achieved something your mind's all over the show you're stressing out but you just want to sit and do craft go with this one and i guarantee you when you're sitting playing you will end up with this one or something that is your own version of this one that's what i always do when i'm struggling to find what to do don't know where to start the stamp set's just sitting looking at me I flick through the catalogue it may not be that i've got that set but i've got something similar but i like that card so i'll give it a go with what i've got okay i told you i'd waffle right i've got five minutes oh look a unicorn that's rather snazzy right stop okay what else oh color coordination remember i said about the color coordination so you've got just jade ink just jade card just jade pens pencils paper ribbon these little enamel dots you name it you can get it in every color okay love that page okay this to be honest i'm not loving this page so much not like i used to so what they've done this year to update it is they've put the colors along the top stampin up put their colors into color families brights neutrals regals subtles basic and in color in color are the ones that change every year um, just so they can get more tones in but these families stay the same now the little bit that's tricky about this is these are the colors going down so if we took blushing bride for instance this is the colors these are all the things you can get in blushing bride where there's a number so you can get cardstock ink pad an ink refill oh no blends no we don't want that so saffron cardstock stamping ink pad ink refill stamping blends combo yeah let's get that one so you know you can get everything in those there's only a few that you can't get stamping blends with but just when you're filling out your order or trying to work out how much you can spend make sure you're looking at the right line quite often i write down the number for the cardstock when i'm wanting the ink pad so lots of colors i'm not sure that it shows it off to the best of what they've got because the colors are stunning okay next page cardstock comes in packs you can buy individual colors or you can buy a whole color family you can get um 12 by 12 they don't come in individual colors unfortunately but you can get a whole color family you get 20 sheets in there you get 20 sheets in there what else is on this page this looks quite an interesting page watercolor pencils love watercolor pencils they're very good and guess what they coordinate stamping markers you can get a massive pack you can get individual families and if you just want the in colors you would go to here and they will be there as well okay a little bit of storage there i want to get to the really exciting stuff extra bits and pieces things that i've picked out that i like love that tree mask don't know why just got a thing about trees what else is on here do you remember me doing the little pot of shimmer paints that's there somewhere we did a little tutorial on that and what about these okay so you don't think you're going to use the big ink pads that much how about a group of little 
baby ink pads. Little spots. You get how many do you get? Eight colours. Same ink, same coordination, but just in little spots. Love those. Love the sponge daubers as well. <gasps> Paper. Okay, I'm not going to go through it all, but look how bright, how lovely that paper is. Look at this set down here. We've got dogs. Dogs, cats, love that. Okay, I really like this whale one. Under the sea. Just like it all. Right, let's find what else I need to talk to you about. Oh, packaging. Sometimes you want to give a gift. There's different cellophane boxes this time. There's um, a three by three flat box. These square tiny boxes, use them ever such much. Here, rainbow glimmer paper. It's like glitter paper, but it's so good that, you know when you cut glitter paper and you dread it? Because it literally then, everything, even if it hasn't been anywhere near it, is covered in glitter. That doesn't happen with this rainbow glimmer paper. It stays on the paper. However you cut it, it stays on there. Okay, there's something else that I wanted to show you here and I can't think what it is. Uh, no, I might have to come back to that. Oh, gold pizza boxes. Mm, Christmas maybe. No, then there's more. I'm running out of time. Clear blocks. There's um, a caddy to store your clear blocks in. That's not new, they've always had it. Ah, bundles. Remember I said to you about the bundles? These are punch bundles. So again, another load of pictures of suggested cards you can make. And they're not the same as the ones you've already seen. They're extra cards to make. Same over this side. Gives you examples. And I think this is quite a nice clear picture of what your stamp will punch out. Okay. Sorry, now I'm distracted looking. Ah! Next one, die bundles. So these are your stamp sets and what the dies come like. Do you remember on the boards I was showing you, I die cut them out so you could see what they look like. Well, they do that themselves in the catalogue. Some of them, it's quite tricky to work out what it is, like that. But if you look at the stamp, you will see that that is filled in with really fine detail. This one, I haven't even shown you this one. I don't think you can see it, that one. Oh my goodness, the cards that I've seen done with that are amazing. Okay, is this the same I quickly need to show you. This is just all the dies they do. There's your normal oval squares, circles, always good to have. Embossing folders, loads of embossing folders. I'm sure I do a tutorial of those at some time. This page, this is about hosting and earning, how to earn free stuff. Talk to me if you want to do that. There's a couple of sets. If you host a party, you can only get for that. Um, join my team. We have a fantastic team, or I have a fantastic team, but it's not just about me. The team keep me going. They're amazing girls. I don't know where I'd be without them. And they all earn their own discount because they joined up. And there's an amazing joining offer at the moment. So again, I'll send you details, but just talk to me. And then if you know what stamp set you've got, but you don't know where to start, there's an A to Z of all the stamp sets in there. And that's it. Wow. Okay. So let's just do a quick flick. This literally is. So remember what I said, it's more than a catalogue. It's full of ideas. Okay. World of good. Look at that. Look at all those papers. Let's do another flick. Um, this one, Ornate Garden. Love those dies. Really love the papers. Again, look at the colours that go with it. I don't know if you can see that because my paper's moving. Um, what else? <gasps> Lo absolutely love this set, but it's already sold out. Not to say they're not going to get more. Because they will, but just for today, it's sold out. Look at those dogs, cats, look at those bones. What a cool idea is that? Absolutely love those. Okay, let me, I'm just trying to quickly find the florally, flowery, pretty 
colour in one that you might like. Okay, good taste, that's a good one. Can you see that? I'm whizzing now because I realise that I'm waffling. I love that set. Really love that set. But is it my favourite? That one, some teeny little dies. Really got to have those. Oh, this is a nice set. Look at all those. And like I say, there's lots of ideas on the pages. I mean, look, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cards on there. And that's just on those pages. Um, nearly there, girls. This, oh, look at that. Isn't that stunning? And look at those colours. Oh, my goodness. I love peonies. They're my favourite flower. Okay, I'll just show you one more, if I can find it, if I can't, I'll have to stop waffling, oh, I can't find it, no, okay, do it once more, I know I keep saying that, oh, I didn't even show you the ribbons page, what I'm saying is, have a flick through your book, have a flick through again, what about this, look, look at that, Look at all those colours. So basically that is one die and you could do it different colours. You could cut it up. Look, look at these. Isn't that gorgeous? Just those colours are amazing. Right, that's me done. Okay, so just to recap, it's more than a catalogue. I hope you've enjoyed looking through it with me. Um, you know how to order. If you're still wondering how to order, just message me if you